For a real number a, we have discussed the equations x squared is equal to a and x cubed is equal to a. A solution to the first equation is called the square root of a and a solution to the second equation is called a cube root of a. So let's generalize this to the case when the exponent is any natural number. For any natural number n, a solution to the equation x raised to the n is equal to a is called an nth root of a. We know from previous discussions that the case n is equal to 2 is quite different from the case n is equal to 3. The key difference is that 2 is an even number while 3 is an odd number. If I multiply a negative number an even number of times it will become positive while if I multiply a negative number an odd number of times, it will become negative. If n is even, as in the case of the square root, then we have the following results. If a is a non-negative number, then the equation has a unique real non-negative solution. If a is negative, then the equation has no real solution. If a is non-negative, then the equation will have a unique non-negative solution called the principal nth root of a. We use the following notation for the nth root of a. We use either the radical sign or we write it as a power with the exponent 1 over n. If n is even, then the nth root only exists for non-negative numbers and the nth root is always non-negative. If n is odd, as for the cube root, then the equation x to the n is equal to a will have a single unique solution for any a. We use the same notation for the nth root no matter if n is even or odd. If n is odd, then the nth root of a exists for all real numbers, and the nth root has the same sign as a.